Hello all you baby bats and bad witches, it's Marilyn and for this video I'm going to be showing you this makeup from 1948's The Red Shoes. This character specifically is the main ballerina, Victoria Page. I've had this movie on my list for so long to watch because I am actually classically trained in ballet and with all that extra time in the earlier months of lockdown, I was actually finally able to sit down and watch this film. This specific makeup look encapsulates everything I love about makeup. It has the classic graphic ballerina eye, a big classic Hollywood lip. So before we get started with the tutorial, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel as well. I'll also leave all of the links for my social media in the description down below. To begin this makeup, I've already gone ahead and prepped my eyebrows using the glue stick brow blocking method. I have a tutorial for this already on my channel. For foundation, I'm using the Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation in the shade Creamy Vanilla and applying it with my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. The coverage on this foundation is really good and helps to conceal those eyebrows, but just to make sure that they're completely covered, now I'm taking the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer in the shade 115 and adding a whole bunch of this over my eyebrows and in the high points of my face. I like to blend from the bottom up so that way it gives the concealer enough time to set in the areas where I need more coverage, like over my eyebrows and under my eyes. At this angle, you can really tell how much more additional coverage this technique adds. Next, I'm adding the Ben Nye Super White Powder and applying it using the Moda Pro Flat Powder Brush. This kind of powder is actually used in theater. It reminds me of that one scene in Black Swan when she's adding the puff all over her body and her face. So I'm mostly using it to give off that staged makeup element of a powdery cast. Since my skin is really oily, a light dusting of powder won't really work. My skin will break this down, so I'm pressing all the additional powder into my skin using the bottom of my beauty sponge. For blush, I'm using this red shade and it's called Hot and Frenzy by CoverGirl. I'm applying it using my Moda Pro Radiance Brush. In the movie, Victoria doesn't have this much face makeup on, but I couldn't help myself. Now I'm adding the e.l.f. white gold highlighter using the Moda Pro Glow Brush. For this graphic eye look, I'll be using the Matte NYX Eyeliner. The eyebrows for this look are really unique. I've never really done anything like them. The best way that I would describe them is just being super curvy, so I'm creating a rounded arch and then winging out the tail. It's okay if it doesn't come out perfect, this is my first time trying out this brow shape so even I had to go in and conceal my edges with the same concealer from before. And the brush that I'm using is the BH Cosmetics V18. Since this makeup is mostly about the graphic eyeliner, I'm just going to set my eyelid using a shadow that's similar to my skin tone. For the line on my top lid, I'm just creating a really classic thick winged eyeliner. So it seems like so far on my channel, the theme for this Halloween has been cult movies. I really hope that you're enjoying seeing all of my tutorials on some different type of characters. For the bottom lash line, I'm just going to be creating a floating eyeliner wing. I'm pretty much creating a new lash line under my eye. What really drew me to this movie and this character in particular were all the beautiful dance scenes, the makeup of course, and the cinematography. As a red liner, I'm going to be using the Diamond Effects face paint. You want to make sure that you mix this up for a good amount of time so that the product is opaque. I'm creating a wing between the lash line and my wing and then adding a dot to the inner corner. I completed the other eye off camera and added these super curly Ardell 203 lashes. Next I'm lining my lips using the Milani Bordeaux lip liner. The lip shape that Victoria has in the movie is also very graphic. It reminds me almost of Lucille Ball. To fill that in, I'm using the LA Girl Runway lipstick. My shape doesn't really pull off the Lucille Ball lip shape too much, so I'm just going through and overlining my lips. This look is overall really simple, but I wanted to put my own touch on it by using shades of red that match my skin tone a little better. So I'm just pinning up the sides of this hair, and this is the completed look.
Thank you so much for watching my Victoria Page Thread Shoes Makeup Recreation. If you like this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel as well. For a closer look at all of my makeup, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Marilyn Mugby. I'll see you next time. Bye.